It was August 2018, and I was slipping into a hot, stuffy subway car when I got this call on my cell phone. The caller ID gave a name. Axiom. It was weird. But then a lot of weird things had been happening around me since I started reporting on a whole lot of women's allegations against the movie mogul Harvey Weinstein. I'd gotten strange texts and emails. I'd seen suspicious cars parked outside of my apartment. Sources had told me to get a gun. And I'd moved out of my home. The point is, it was getting to me. I ignored the call. But a little later, I got this text from the same number. It said... I'm trying to reach you directly and privately. It's regarding a fry pan that's scratch-resistant. Sometimes I cook, and the black coating scares me. I knew exactly what it meant. In October 2017, The New Yorker started publishing my reporting on Harvey Weinstein, containing the first rape and sexual assault allegations against him. A New Yorker story published yesterday included a recording from a New York police sting operation in 2015. Weinstein is heard trying to lure... Then I published this story called Army of Spies, about how Weinstein had hired a private intelligence agency called Black Cube. It's a firm based in Tel Aviv, and it's run by former Mossad agents. It specializes in deception, secret agents, false identities, front companies. I'd uncovered all these contracts and documents that proved, beyond doubt, that Weinstein had hired Black Cube to gather intelligence on sources and on reporters, including me. But I still didn't know how far the surveillance went. Black Cube had always denied following any journalists. After the article... I came across this photo of a frying pan coincidentally marketed under the brand name Black Cube. I thought it was funny, so I posted it on Instagram with the caption, Scratch Resistant, may use false identities and shell companies to extract information. So whoever was messaging me, they seemed to know something about Black Cube. The intelligence firm, not the frying pan. And they seemed worried. So 